Hello everyone, this is the second video showcasing my E-Flight UMX Carbon Cup SS Parkfly airplane which I purchased uh, used about seven years ago back in 2013 and never got the chance to fly it because it came with a busted aileron servo. In my previous video I have shown how to replace a blown capacitor, one of the blown capacitors on the PCB board of the Selectra 2S LiPo charger that came with it. And uh, it saved me a lot of money. I paid about $2 for two capacitors, one being spare. I'm glad I bought this uh, spare because I busted it up uh, before installing. And uh, whereas, you know, these sell for about $30. So it saved me, you know, $28 of money. So now it's charging, the battery is charged after seven years and I tried out, it has juice in it. I don't know if it's good for flight, but at least it can start everything on the plane. And today I'm going to show you how to replace this one of the aileron servos on this uh, Carbon Cup SS. So I already have the parts. Here is a 2.3 gram linear long throw offset servo from Spectrum. And this is the missing cover for the servo. That's going to be like this when finished. So this one is, was missing when I bought it. And let me show you the problem. I'm going to now turn on my DX6i transmitter, which also had problems with the rotating menu selector button. So the, the sensor was not working and then also this plastic roller was broken, the tab was broken. So I replaced the sensor as well as this uh, roller with an aluminum one. And now it's working fine. So let me turn this on. And the carbon cup is already selected as the model. And I'm going to install the battery to show you the issue. Going to set this here gently so I don't break the vertical stabilizer. Okay. I don't close it. I need to close the hatch. But you see the, the lights are on, the light. It's the, I think landing light and then red and green at the tip of the wings and It is a five channel airplane, so it has also flaps. So here are the air, air ailerons. I'm going to show it to you. So the left air aileron is working, and then the right aileron is not working. Everything else works. So we have the elevator and the rudder. The motor and finally the flaps on off retract now so what I'm going to do is and then you can probably hear the gyro system trying to balance it when I do this <laughs> that's what the noise is right, let me unplug the battery and get to work. So I just took a quick peek in, in the manual and in order to get the wing off, actually it's attached to the top section of the front front top section of the fuselage. So this whole thing comes off with the wing. And the first thing to do is releasing these struts that go to the wing. And to do that, you, we just uh, Press this button forward and pulls out and then you bring it perpendicular to the to the wing and then squeeze it and then pull it out from these two holes. So it comes out like this. And I'm going to do the same for the right wing. This comes out, I squeeze it and it releases. Now the part I don't like, um, I have to <laughs> cut these decals with a hobby knife and separate it. So those are what, 
what is holding the top, the wing and then the front top fuselage to the bottom fuselage. seems to be holding on to something. I wonder if there is something else on the bottom, but I don't see anything. I'm trying to see something inside is holding it. So I cut off all the all the tape, but something is it looks like there is another piece of tape inside. Maybe it's a velcro, I'm not sure. Whatever they put just got stuck really hard. Okay. So at this point we have to really be careful. There are a lot of wires running around. And probably the best way of uh, taking care of this is maybe unplugging those. Let's see if I can work like this. I can rotate this. Like that. Yeah, there are a lot of wires running through here. And the one I need to replace is connected here actually. So I'm going to disconnect that carefully. So that one is disconnected. And so this was the right servo towards the back and then towards the front here. I'm probably so this this was the right servo and this goes to the left aileron servo. Right both Right and left aileron service has been pulled out and then now I'm going to pull out the wires for the now I'm going to pull out the connector for the flaps. Okay. So here's the bottom part. Set it here. 
And now what I have to do is cut the servo out and the, pull the wire out and then pull the wire. I wish I could just uh, con make the connection of the wire here but it's just one piece, I cannot do that. It's going to be difficult to pull the wire through here. So this is kind of uh, sealed. So at this point I think it's a good idea to test if this issue is caused by the bad servo or the controller or some some broken wire or something. Test the new servo, the aileron. As you can see, this little servo is rotating my hand. It's the new one. Okay, so we just verified that it's actually the servo, not the, any, any of the other electronic parts inside or wiring. Okay, let's unplug this and get on replacing the servo. to pull it off from the foam wing but I have to be careful not to crack the wing while I'm doing that because I'm exerting quite a bit of stress here while I'm doing it I may have to maybe cut it around it a little bit Just cutting, trying to cut right into the glue. It feels really solid. Okay, servo is off and I'm just going to separate it from the horn carefully, just don't want to break the horn. To be able to do that I may have to also release the wires as well. Okay, here we go. Now let's try to get the wires out. Just cutting through the tape that pulls the wires inside that channel in the wing. Uh, 
Now here's the turkey part. I don't know how to get this piece off. I may have to separate the wing from the canopy as well, looks like it. It looks like they used some double sticky tape for it. And it's in there pretty good. I just don't want to break it while I'm trying to separate this. I hope there was an, another method to get that through. I just wonder if I can push the connector through that hole. Let me release the servo wire from the tape here on this side. Yes, I will have both ends free. It will probably give me a little bit more freedom to, to work this out. They tape everything, everything in. It's like a large piece of tape running also at the center of this. I'm trying not to cut the wires. You cannot see inside, but if you look here, there's another tape holding these together and then I'm trying to cut through that tape as well to release servos wire okay so now I'm going to attempt to pull it out from the other side so far so good it's coming through but it's going to be really difficult to get it underneath there I don't think there is enough room well I'll attempt because I really don't want to try to separate the wing from the top of the fuselage. Maybe I can get just the middle section off. Let's see if I can just pull this small section off. I mean, I can cut the servo's wire, sure, but then how am I going to put the new one in? This needs to go through that hole as well. cut this. It's a dead servo anyway. Here we go, it's out. Now the tricky part. I need to get this through that hole. I can force it somehow. Well, there's not enough room, unfortunately. I have to make space here. Let's see if I'm going to be able to separate this, this section only. And then there are also much thinner wires running. So I have to be careful not to cut them. These go to the lights on the wing. So there's one just running through here so I have to make sure that 
not to break that wire because it will be almost impossible to fix fix that. I think I may have separated it enough. Let's see. I can push this through. It is going in, but I'm just afraid that's going to cut the other thin wire, just which is just over there. I need to push it out of the way. Yeah, go, go away. Go to the side. Don't stay there. It's almost in. Yeah, it's in, okay. It went through. And I'm hoping that I didn't break anything, any wires while I was doing that. Why I didn't damage anything. Okay. Now, What I have to do is put this servo in here. But I'm going to also need the control linkage. That's tightly in there. Here we go. So this goes to the new servo. I think it came out of the middle. There are three holes, so I think I didn't take a look, but I think it came out of the middle hole. Okay, looks good. So what I have to do now is first get rid of this tape, just in my way. Tricky, I don't want to cut myself. Here goes the tape, and now the channel is open, so I can easily route the wire, throw a wire back. And I just need a little bit of uh, hot glue, so let me heat up my glue gun. My glue gun is uh, nice and warm now, and. Uh, here, if you look at the left servo, let's focus on it. The, the rod is connected into the horns, the second hole from the, from the end. I'm going to do the same one on this one before I glue it in, because it will be much easier to do it now than later. So, I'm going to get it. The second hole. And in. So now all I have to do is put a little bit of glue and make sure that the survey is sitting squarely where it's supposed to be. 
the depression here and then I can, and then I can run the wire later okay so it needs to be like that That's a lot of glue. I hope I don't have to take this off again. It's going to be a pain. Let's work quickly. Okay, it's in place. The glue is already hardening. I changed the angle so you can see better what I'm doing. So the right aileron servo is in and I also put temporarily a scotch tape to just hold it in place. I pulled the wire all the way in. Now I'm going to connect to the controller. So, this in the center, this part, this takes the lead coming from the servo that controls the flaps over here. And the one, the other two, these are aileron servos. So the, the front one goes to the right and then rear one goes to the left. So let's connect these. And then by the way, I'm going to try to show you something. While I was changing, I just tested it out. Do you see there are actually four pins in that connector? And you would expect the same, right? Female. Now there should be four female pins on the other side. So this is the lead that goes to the flap servo as well as to the light so there's a splitter as you can see you know that one goes to this little board over here and this board is for the lights and then one of the wires from that split goes to that and the second one goes to the servo linear servo that controls the flaps over here these are the flaps on the inside and then let me show you the, the end of this plug. Do you see it's, um, there are only three leads. And then this connector has four. So while I was switching the camera position, I quickly tested it and it needs to go to the, towards the front of the airplane. So there's only one orientation it can go and it, is, it needs to go towards the front. So let's connect that one first. It's long enough. So it goes not towards the back like this, but towards the front. It's all the way in. And if you look now, there's going to be a little bit of a slack, empty space on the back side, but there's an, an additional pin. I'm guessing for some of the airplanes, this uh, receiver board has other functions maybe that that middle section controls other things that require the fourth lead I'm not sure but let's plug in the ailerons so this is coming from the right aileron servo it goes in well, maybe I'm trying to attach the Wrong orientation, I don't want to force it. Okay. Right aileron servo is connected. Now this is the old left aileron servo coming from this one. This, this didn't have any issues. Let me connect that one. One needs really small hands to do this. 
especially while taking the video. Okay, so everything is connected. Let me temporarily put the top on to the plane like this. Just so we can check the servers and everything. Just a camera, okay. I'm going to turn on my transmitter. So let's double check that the transmitter actually set to carbon cup, correct one. Now I'm going to connect the battery. The lights are on. Okay. Let's double check. Let's rotate it around so you can see the ailerons. And also... Okay. I'm going to give right aileron. So right aileron raises right, you know, right up and left down. And you roll left, should raise the left aileron and then drop the right aileron. So it's, it's working well. Now they are both working. Now try the flaps. I put flaps on this one. All right, flaps are good. Up elevator, going up. Down elevator. Right rudder, left rudder, working. And just, uh, <laughs> I don't want to smash the plane onto the wall, so let me hold it. And okay, everything seems to be working. So let's unplug now the battery and put everything inside and start taping it up.
Let's preheat it up and complete the repair by putting the servo cover. Let's quickly double check to make sure that nothing is binding. I didn't glue in the servo. So let's turn this on again. Quickly connect the battery. Good, connect it. Let's just try. Nothing seems to be binding, good. And finally, let's put the wing struts back on. So there's a right and left one. They're different, as you can see, this is the right one, the R. And the R will be facing up towards the wing. And then to install that, you hold it perpendicular to the wing, the bottom of the wing, and they go into these holes. And then once they're in the in their holes, you rotate it. It rotates, and then you see that slot over there. Come to the front, and, you know, push push that tab into the slot, and then then push it back, and it locks in. So the right one is done. Now the left one. Again, hold it perpendicular. One end goes in. This is still difficult to do with just one single hand. And then once both are in, you start rotating. Again, the tab goes into the slot in the front and then you push it back and it locks. So all good. Ready to fly, not tomorrow though. It's going to be a really lousy day tomorrow, unfortunately. We are going to have 20 miles per hour winds and this little guy is not going to be able to fly in that kind of uh, weather. So it needs to wait for a weather, calmer weather. But whenever that time is, I'm going to take a video of the maiden flight and I'm also planning to put a new micro camera that I purchased from Amazon for less than 20 bucks. I have no idea about its quality, but I'm going to mount it on top. It is not too heavy, so this uh, cup shouldn't have any problem carrying it. And then when I'm creating the video, I'm going to put an inlay. So you are going to see from my eyes and also from the first person view from top. So please stay tuned. Wait for that next video and hope to see you next time. Take care.